I uh, am amused quite often when uh, I hear people commenting on the perfect lift or the perfect way. The uh, answer to the question is this. You're trying to find a way to lift to minimize a stress concentration. A stress concentration somewhere in the body will eventually uh, tip the balance between building the body and tearing it down. So with the assistance of uh, Adela, I will uh, demonstrate just a two variations, but it depends on the object that we're lifting. So let's lift the backpack off the floor in this first uh, example. Adela, go ahead and pick that off the floor. Good. Now put it down. Now pretend that weighs 50 kilos. So lift it with little stress in your back and in your knees. Good. So if that was 50 kilo, A, you wouldn't do it. B, you would create a stress point, and eventually your body's going to uh, give out a little bit. So just a little bit of coaching of technique now to build more load-bearing resilience in your body, and we're going to take out the stress points. Okay. The first thing I need you to do is sniff a little bit of air. Too much. Relax. You raised your chest too much, and you extended your spine just a little bit too much. So just lift. Nice. Now at that point, put your hands on your thighs, spread your knees apart a little bit. Now go down and play outfield and cricket. Beautiful. Now, at this point, you're holding your hands like that on your knees. I want you to come around and grab your knees hard and start to carry weight down your arms. Now bring your knees over the balls of your feet because you're going to lift with your legs and your knees won't allow you. They're not strong enough to pick up 50 kilo. Or if I said 150 kilo, which it's not the weight that'll hurt you, it's your technique. So now bring your knees over your ball, perfect. Get the curve of your back a, li a little bit neutral so we're not creating any stress and neutral. Now, look, this is a shrug. I want you to anti-shrug. Push down and carry more weight. Grab harder, carry more weight down your arms. Perfect, use your pecs and lats to stiffen into that no stress. Now, I want you to Grab the handles. Now, push. Actually, don't lift this. Push it away, but pull your hips through. Pull your hips through. Don't lift with your back. Pull your hips through. Beautiful. And lower it the same way. Lower it down. No, your knees are coming forward. Slide your hips back. Just keep that curve neutral. Lower it down and pull your hips through. And you're very stiff, but after a while, you will just be able to pull that through, throw it, and flow with it. Um, uh, as so. There is a kettlebell on the floor. I'd like you to lift that now. Just go ahead and lift it. Okay, you're going to find that you won't be able to get that low. So a light object off the floor now is an entirely different uh, constraint system on your body. So it's called the golfer's lift. I'm going to preserve exactly the same minimal stress patterns in my back, plant the foot, grip the ground hard, push my heel back, over I go, pull that through, and I didn't bend my back into any stress at all. So a light object repeatedly off the floor, you could use the golfer's lift. So we'll just pull that away a little bit. Now just let me coach it a little bit. Just give a little bit of stiffness. Baby step closer, and I don't want you to kick what's behind you. So now Push your feet, baby step closer, that's the stuff. And hinge around your hip and push one heel back. You can even hold on to your golf putter or club there if you wish, or a table, and push one leg back. You choose which one for now, and we'll see what's more comfortable later. But go ahead and try it. Push your heel behind you, and pull your hip through. Fine. Now you did use a little bit of uh, knee bending there, yeah. and it depends. If you had wonderfully strong knees, that would be fine. If you had a knee replacement, I would have to change and coach that just a little bit to migrate the stress out of your knee, away from your knee, and we'll put it in your hip. So we just, we play with motions, postures, and loads, steering those forces through your body using different techniques, and we will uh, always engineer a way to avoid stress in the sensitized part, whether it be your back, your pelvis, your neck, your knee, your ankle, etc. So again, the, 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 the summary of all of this 
is there's no such thing as the best lifting technique. We will match it to the pain triggers of the person, spare them, and uh, get them back to enjoying life once again.